Gremlin, Secrets of the Mogwai, Episodes 3 and 4 just dropped on HBO Max, or Max, let's talk about it. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed these first two episodes that dropped last week, so I was very excited for these episodes. And with that being said, they're not as strong. Um, they're definitely strong episodes still. And there's some fun to be had with it. But that one, those first two episodes, man, they did such a great job of making this villain seem so creepy and menacing. And it's not that he isn't. It's that the, um, we've kind of slowed down and kind of gone to some more goofy stories. I uh, like in the first of uh, this episode, we have a little story about this weird uh, creature with goat legs, uh, which had a great design, really cool character, uh, chasing after him on the Mogwai. It's a little bit more goofy. You do see um, our, our villain, uh, you know, and some of the stuff he's up to, but it's nothing too notable, at least in the third episode. And then the fourth episode here, you get to, you get to see um, this story about like, uh, this tea and this, this kind of, I don't know what you call the place. Anyways, you know, um, the only thing notable in that episode was you get to see our, our main girl's kind of backstory of, like, kind of what happened to her. Because we got hints of some of that in the earlier episodes. And now actually seeing that, coming to understand that is good. And, you know, also we see that our main villain is trying to harness some kind of way to make his mogwise, his army. And what I do what I do really like is that they actually do make the mogwise actually threatening in the show. Literally in the third episode, there's a shot where a dude gets his finger bitten off. And he doesn't get a new finger, right? It's gone. You know, um, there's a dude who has some uh, gets bitten by one of them. I, you know, I, I, I'm sure we're going to see some teeth marks. I'm not sure... We will. But yeah, I think that's really cool. It actually does a lot. Because again, I know that I knew that this show was going to have to downplay the Mogwais a little bit. The actual Gremlins make them a little more downplayed. But they actually do a great job of still making them creepy and threatening. And make... The, and that's... Now you're worried about them and the villain all together. And it makes for a really solid show. And I cannot wait for more of the show. I'm really impressed by it, and the animation continues to impress me a lot. I'm surprised how great this show looks. I was worried about the art style going into it, but honestly, I've loved it. It's great. 